This is FNet News with Jason Brown. Bringing you the latest and greatest from Aerospring Network. Kicking it live since 1988. I'm aware of the podcast. Fnet News Podcast. This is ENN, a penis pump broadcasting company. Jogsin, Barth Makistan. 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 Hello. All. And welcome to the 125th episode of FNet News with me, Jason Mandy. I would like to first <clears throat> start out by saying it wasn't a good week for IRC admins outside of FNet. Steve broke his network and it hasn't been back, and Civil broke his but quickly fixed it because he can't survive without IRC. Oh, and Kong Fuji's been running timers in pound 2600, just listing off the prices of numerous chatters. So if you want to check that out, it's very fun. Um, let me save this file that I've been downloading. That's right, episode 125 media files from mega.nz. Shout out to Mega with up to fucking 50 gigabytes of free storage or some shit like that. I wish they were sponsoring us because that fat fuck from New Zealand or wherever he's from has got a lot of money. Kim.com. Anyway, <clears throat> back to it. I want to give you a bit of a lesson. One that Moss actually gave me earlier. So it's like a, a lesson that I'm handing on, almost like I'm your father and he's my grandfather. Not really anything like that. But anyway, he told me the origin of the word jupe. So I had to Google it because I didn't believe him because that motherfucker's crazy. <laughs> anyway, I found it on Wikipedia, but the little insight he gave actually added to it. So I'll read the, the Wikipedia entry first and then I'll tell you what Maul said. <clears throat> Juping a server, a channel, or a nickname refers to the practice of blocking said channel or nickname on the server or network or said server on the network. God. One possible explanation of how this turn came about, this is the cool part, is that after the opera named Jupiter, who gained control of the nickname NickServe on FNet, uh, you know, FNet doesn't have services and stuff usually, um, he, he, he juped it because he did not believe nicknames should be owned. Now today, FNet offers jupe nicknames that are used as services on other networks, but by the way, that last part isn't true. Uh, up until recently, Chrono and myself actually juked Nick Serve and Chan Serve and caused quite a commotion. But Steve, Oz, whatever, noticed and juped those uh, back the way they used to be. Anyway, so Moss's part was there was a guy named Jupiter, an opera, and he killed Nick Serve and took the Nick. So I don't know, did I? I wasn't really even listening when I was talking. It said he gained control of the nickname in the Wikipedia, but he, he killed it, so it's a little bit different. Uh, apparently he stole a bunch of passwords and laughed about it too so that wasn't in the Wikipedia entry that was according to Moss anyway there you go I thought it was gonna be like Jew dupe mixed together or some kind of shit like that but nope it, it comes from a guy named Jupiter so I wish that guy still chatted because that seems like the kind of people we all are um, good times now a little bit of gay dog over on pound slash join on Freenode. so he's greeted uh, he greets someone named GSOC that person asks if it's the GSOC IRC and then quits. Nope. 
Uh, someone named Zick joins and is greeted, and he asks, is this offsec? Um, Gay Dog says, I don't want to hear it, and he quits. Uh, then he comes back, and he asks the same thing again, and he says, can someone answer, please? And he quits again, so not exactly a banger. But here's one that's good that I would probably alias, just because of how random it is. Uh, tattoo, tattoo uh, basically joins, and he says, CC full. And Gay Dog says, I don't want to hear it, my fellow gay friend. And Tattoo says, gift card. So I might just start saying gift card to people because I think that's funny. Now on to my favorite part of the show, the fuck-ups. You got DNSK here with the Slash W4. Then I realized maybe I've been huge cocked because it seems like Slash W4 is now one of those auto replies on huge cock when he jukes somebody. So I might have fucked up. Uh, you got Monty here doing an LS, which I've done a million times on IRC, and then saying oops. And then me with a major fuck up, I tried to play uh, an ASCII, and it looks like, I don't even know, let's look up what the error is. It's the 302 error. I don't actually know what that error means. Let's Google it. Uh, 302 is an HTTP response indicating that the requested resource has been temporarily moved. So that's true. Uh, the link that I tried to, to paste was actually renamed so uh, I fucked myself there and Subbo made sure that I put it on FNet News because it was an epic fuck up right so I'm gonna preface this by saying all this drama between uh, the I guess people call them the DOS guys the DOS kids whatever you want to call them they're not really kids they're grown-ups and people from frack and I guess other people that are like in the middle and then there's people trying to stir shit up and blah, blah, blah. I'm going to cover it as best I can. Kind of like a summary uh, because I don't want to get into it. I don't want to make this the fucking the fight news or, or the beef news. It, it, I will cover it because it is something that happened. But I don't want to get too detailed. So after Darkness left IRC, I put it out into the ether that I wanted him to hit me up. And I did get a message. He reached out and told me the source of the hack, or at least what his hosting provider claimed. Uh, the ticket said, I finally found the issue. Someone was hijacking uh, routing. I've confirmed on the test VPS it's fixed. You'll need to either restart networking or reboot your VPS to fix the routing table. Very interesting. Um, I think he's taking some time away from FNET. It looks like Sin and Vey may have formatted as well, but I'm not really sure. I saw them quit and then come back. Uh, but they are there. Uh, lots of shakeups and shit. Um, so Sin and Bay are still around. Darton is sitting there. Storm showed up, but I'm not going to fucking get into him because he is just the weakest pussy. I don't really like talking about him too much. Um, anyway, Frack correspondent Moe's, a.k.a. Moss, reached out to me for an official statement. He said, number one, all of this drama was not about jupes. He wanted to make that very clear, very fucking clear. He said, Frack cares not about nicknames. And number two was don't pretend to be a hacker and disrespect Frack. Now this is what it was really about, according to him. Also, he claims Nesta took Sin's girl based on this log. But, I don't know. I don't really see that. I know Lila and Sin talk shit to each other all the time. And I don't even know if they're an E-couple. I really don't know. Uh, anyway, that's basically where we're at so far, I guess. Uh, it looks... I'm sure this will continue. I'm sure shit will keep happening. What I am interested in is Storm coming on and saying exactly what, what Moss is saying you shouldn't say to Frack and calling them uh, you know, names and saying that, that he's a hacker and that they're not or whatever. All kind of dumb shit. So uh, all those guys are going to fight each other and there you go. Um, it looks like Tater got a 10 minute flood off and found FNet News and broke the internet. Now, he, he had flood exempt and finally let his true color show when he played a modified picture of Penis Bird with Load's face over and over and over until Port 80 took a shit. And when people were discussing it in Pound Port 80, Jeru let it be known that he knew who Tater was and how annoying he was. Uh, IA even said he has no limits. So you look at the log here, he says, I'm aware of the user and his annoying nature. Oh, joined a chat and just scrolled so much it made P80 drop. Then IAA said possibly the dude has no limits. Um, Elizabeth said join definite news and flooding it with the same ASCII for 10 minutes with no limit. Jerry said children don't know how to act when it comes to spoofs and flood exempt. It's pretty sad. Um, and Jerry said glad I don't bother with joining FNet news. He also said 
There's too many trolls in there. I can barely stand RC30, but there's still people in there that I talk to, so I deal with it. But FNet News is just way too much. No offense, Vapor. You know I love you. But yeah, that's just my personal opinion. And Unix says I second that. So Jeru, no offense taken. I agree wholeheartedly. I would shut the channel down if certain people didn't s depend on it for spamming. I'm looking at you, lol dangs. Um, right, so here's a log here where the Stella is saying, I do like to see the ASCIIs when they come up. And then EFUCK links uh, a, a link to the picture, which I will put up. Um, it, ac it actually is pretty funny looking. <laughs> um, Estella says, yeah, that's the one. Unix says, is that him holding some guy? Uh, Estella says, gripping tightly that meat. Unix says, I see. He seems pleasantly surprised and willfully engaged. Now, Unix, no, that is a bird. Uh, sorry, that is a man's dick. I'm trying to think now. Penis bird is a bird standing on a man's dick. So this is just a man's dick with Load's face, I guess. So no bird involved. Tater, you're so complex. Now when people ask why he had flood exemptions, Sai chimed in saying, Tater was someone who was trusted with flood exempt, and after last night, he is no longer trusted with flood exempt. Also, it happened over on Civil's network. Or sorry, this happened. I think he did paste the picture over there, but, but this little thing happened. He joins, he gets opt by code, he mass deops, sets plus I, and bans every single person. And that's the reason why Tater wins Chatter of the Week. So congratulations to you, Chatter. Uh, you, you piece of shit. You know I don't like you very much, but I do like you a lot. Uh, just because of the chaos you, you fucking cause. But yeah, mass deop on a different uh, network. A complete flood to crash a, a server on FNet. You gotta have uh, Chatter of the Week. So cheers to you, bro. I'll drink my uh, Fanta grapefruit to you. Looks like the last time Steve um, left FNet, it was because of Vinyl and Civil. You see the log here, him saying, despite leaving FNet for a bit, because the goddamn trolls, one named Vinyl, one named Civil. Civil seems to get the blame for a lot of stuff. I've actually been told that Tater is Civil. Uh, anyway, I just wanted to put that there to get Steve in the news, because that's my bro. Here's a pick from Dickie, who keeps the Nick challenge going on. He found Nance's Nick out in the wild, so let's take a look. Oof, awesome, fine. And remember, if you see a Nick, take a pick. <laughs> um, here's Stratum giving a rundown of the last LRH. He says uh, LRH had two hosts, half hosted by Lou Radio and half by his giant head of hair and sideburns. So I just thought that was a funny little quote. Um... Stress, Pound Stress is in the news for needing a Chan Fix intervention. Psymaster was nice enough to step in. GMH was also involved, and you can see it here. Look at Effie digging in there. But he did say please. Hard diss. Anyway, thanks Psy for once again being a nice guy. Here's some bot quotes. Domer saying, I'm running off with the mailman. And Cutie saying, I eat raw meat. We got a no context quote. Dwayne saying, I save my incisive wit only for when it is merited. And Nance saying, I like pinpoint accuracy with my vibrations. And now, on to the weather from my man, Psymaster. Psy? Woo! Let me go up this ramp. Fuck that. What's up, people? FNet News weather. About 60 degrees. Overcast skies. I ain't seen the sun all day today. It's kind of gloomy. Kind of like what uh, FNet's been for the last few days. Yeah, thanks, buddy. But anyway. I digress. Yeah, you got Nick Jupin, D. Dawson, flood exempt person going crazy. What's up with all that shit? Is that all necessary? I don't know. I don't even know where the hell I'm going. Shout out to Spoke. 
riding that 7.1 on the Richter scale down there in Southern California. I hope you're doing well. And as always, whoo shit. Shout out to Steve-O, Ford 80. Back to you, Jason. Wonderful weather, bro. I always love it. And thank you so much for still doing it. Uh, I know people need to know what it's like uh, in your neck of the woods, as Sal used to say. Some more news, Butt Vomit, a.k.a. Rebirth, a.k.a. Leuno Birth, made an announcement that Fight Club ownership has been passed over to Angie. So that's news in an unexpected turn. So if you've got any beefs with Fight Club or the way it's run, talk to Angie. Thank you to the patrons over on patreon.com slash fnetnews. Uh, Monkey, NK9K, Tau, Subohm, Chrono, Misfit, Nance, Load, Sloth, Sybil, Kaku, PCAP, Interdome, Kong Fuzi, Simaster, Estella, E Fucked, BB420, Nevar, Scrim, Cosby X, Chex, Pokery, Meep Sheep, Echo Shun, Eraser, Jewbird, Spoke, Money Tree, Judge, Wheat and Kid, Stratum, Angie, Carl, Demogorgo, Sif, Open Soul, Guess Right, Kakama, DMA, and Chili Boss. Thank you guys so much for continuing to support the show and keep it going for all all of these FNet people that aren't patrons and do watch the show are indebted to you and you should rub it in their face every chance you get. That's the show. Cheers, guys. We'll talk to you next week. I am Jason Bandy. It's episode one, two, five. And sorry about e -fuck, man. He's had some bad news uh, about OP. I don't really want to get into it but it, it didn't work work well for him so shout out to e funk man feel bad uh, and i hope you're doing all right man uh, episode 125 we out